Hey y'all, listen, so I'm in a hurry. I can't do the intro, I can't do any of that, but I just wanted to drop this quick message. I saw several people in the comment talking about the dreams that they had that kind of correlates to the dream that I had. I just wanna make sure that everybody is on one accord. I don't know, I know we're at different stages in this walk, but just in case, you know, y'all don't know, please pay attention to your dreams. If at night, I usually, when I first started, in my awakening, in my journey, God will wake me up in between midnight and 4 a.m. Those were the windows. And I went through that for like months, y'all. But in that time, he will wake me up. It was either a dream or he wanted to talk. Like anytime that you, you receive a dream that's out of the norm, God is trying to speak. And not every dream is from God now. So you want to make sure that you still jot it down, take note of it, ask God what it is he's trying to tell you. Now that we're in relationship with with the Father, the Holy Spirit will speak to you and through you and let you know what you need to do about life, let you know about your enemies. Like it's not, I, again, it's not this religious based thing that we've, we've probably known as children that we grew up in. It's not that y'all, it's a full blown relationship. You can go to God about how you need to put your, how you need to wear your hair, what kind of clothes you put on, should you drive this way to work, that way to work. It's a full blown relationship. So anything that you need or anything that you don't have clarity on, God will speak to you. He will literally speak to you. And whether it's in a dream or you're, you're wide awake or a vision, whatever it is, like sometimes he has to come to us in a dream because we're so busy during the day. We don't have time to quiet our minds. So he gives you your answer in the dream. So make sure y'all don't miss it. And y'all, sometimes the enemy will try to steal your dreams from you. I've gone through that. And even now, sometimes when I receive dreams from God, I have bits and pieces. I feel like I have the main part of it, but sometimes the enemy will steal your dreams. He don't want you to know the secrets that God is trying to reveal to you about people, about life, about your destiny, none of that. So Make sure, y'all, that whatever it is that God is placing on your spirit, whatever it is you're dreaming about, don't take it lightly. Write it down. Get a journal. Get used to that. Even if he's waking you up in the midnight hour, get on up. Even because now I do voice notes. When I first started, I was writing that stuff down. But I realized when I was writing it down, I wouldn't go back to sleep. And right now, I just can't. I can't do that. So I am doing vo voice notes. I make sure I try to get up though after I have the dream. As soon as I have the dream, I wake up, I do my voice note, and I try to get back into going to sleep. It's not always like that, but I feel like it's better if I get what I need to get from God because sometimes somebody else's destiny is connected to you. Somebody else's word is connected to you. Your word is connected to that dream. So don't take it lightly, y'all. Do not take it lightly. Um, What else? I feel like there was something else that I wanted to say, but... I don't know. I don't know. Um, but if God brings me back on, then I will. But I just really wanted to say that because I know we're at different levels and some of us, you know, are level Christians or whatever. And some of us are babes. And you just, I, I mean, I say Christians, but yeah, I really feel like it's a spiritual walk that I'm not, I'm not trying to be funny about the whole Christianity thing, but some people have really tainted it. So I just, I just, I connect with the spirit, whatever the Holy Spirit tell me to do, however Jesus is telling me to move, whatever it is, that's what I do. So again, about these dreams, y'all make sure that y'all hold on to it, write it down. Again, every dream is not from God, but write it down, seek God about that. Because even if you don't get a word from him right then, he still may come behind and confirm through somebody else what it is he's trying to tell you. This is a season again of transition, transformation he's doing something new in you and through you so how you used to hear from him how you used to experience him when you did not know him is totally different now that you have come in covenant and relationship with him so he want to reveal things to you that you didn't know about yourself and some of y'all have gifts i said that before some of you may even have gifts that you haven't even tapped into yet and he's trying to let you know i've given you this gift so now i need for you to exercise that thing wake up a little bit more to it so i can strengthen it so I can strengthen it. So don't take it lightly, y'all. I think that's the only thing for right now. I know it was something else, but I can't think of it. So I love y'all so much. And y'all continue to stay encouraged. And we're going to be back with another one real soon. Peace, y'all.